right, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about muriatic acid. So if you have high alkalinity in your pool, you're going to need muriatic acid. What we're going to do is add one gallon every eight hours and let that process in the pool. Then we're going to check it and test it again. So this is a 40,000 gallon pool. and We're trying to lower that alkalinity. We're probably going to add just one gallon every eight hours. And we're probably going to put about 12 and a half gallons into this pool. Something you will note is that you can actually use a bucket and dilute the muriatic acid with some water. Stir it with a stick before you add it to your pool. In this case, we're not gonna do that. I have a power jet over here, so we're gonna add it just into the pool. And uh, we're gonna go back with our pool brush and actually sweep across the bottom to uh, stir it up and keep it moving there. Pretty sunny day. This should bake out in a few hours and should be safe to swim in about two to four hours. All right, guys, so a few things that you'll need to do this with adding muriatic acid to your pool. You'll want a mask, possibly, because this stuff will smoke when you open it. It does have a toxic fume. So you'll want a mask. You'll want some safety glasses or goggles, possibly some sunglasses if you have them, uh, just something to protect your eyes. Also, some rubber gloves. You're going to want to wear these. There's a cap underneath of this. When you take it off, you're going to want to peel it back, but you're going to want to have these gloves on. This will burn your skin, so definitely think about that. Um, some gloves, definitely some eye protection. Uh, wear pants when you do this, possibly a mask for the muriatic acid. So this particular pool has a power jet. That's for the automatic sweeper on the bottom. So we're gonna add the muriatic acid down here. I've already removed the layer under the cap. Just gonna gently pour that right where the water flow is, trying not to splash. Like I say, make sure you wear gloves and glasses, because this could burn your skin. Also wear longer pants, as this could also splash up on you. Now you're going to want to let that go for another eight hours before you add again. Nobody should swim within two to four hours, it should be safe. No one should swim right after you add chemicals to the pool. In this particular product, you should never, ever add with anything and never mix with chlorine. Now we're going to go to the bottom of the pool with our pool brush and just kind of brush the sides where we added the muriatic acid. This will stir up any sediment that's at the bottom keep it from burning your liner. Thank you guys for watching, and that's how you add muriatic acid safely to your pool. Remember, it's always worth being safe when mixing any pool chemicals. Always wear gloves and eye protection. 